Brian Quastine here on Serious Gaming, continuing my playthrough of Ultimate General Gettysburg. So, I have to take the ridge here. Cemetery Ridge. In the actual battle, the Confederates didn't achieve this goal. I will. <laughs> they tried. They desperately tried, but they failed. I will not. I'll move forward and I'll crush the Yankee Yankees. The Dixies shall have their victory. He will get some reinforcements. But it matters not. The advantage goes to me. Okay, open fire, push them back, crush every single fucking one of them. All I need to do is take that ridge. Alright, those were reinforcements, Thomas. <laughs> some reinforcements, I do have some artillery, that or do I? Hold and let my general help you out. Where is he anyway? Uh, ah, there we go. The third corpse and the second corpse. Come on, Daniel. Don't disappoint me. If I can cut off their line of retreat here while taking the ridge. That's what Thomas is gonna do. He's going to win the battle for me. Not all my... Oh, this actually... Uh, yeah, Iverson is in good condition. Very good condition, in fact. So he will be the one to advance in the middle. His fighting shall be left to him. Oh, Kane and Green meet them with a hail of artillery fire. And those sharpshooters as well. Did I just lose some of my units there? Some of my artillery units. Trying to flank me, huh? Union jackasses. Will not aid you. I have good enough cover right there. Kane shall feel my wrath. Sound like his unit is really good. Oh, candy! Vinegar. <laughs> Weinger.
Open fire. Alright, Cutler is breaking. Stannard is holding in the middle. Foregone conclusion as I see it. I will win, the question is how many of them will I kill? He's gonna take some serious casualties here. In the hundreds. Ah, I'm sure. Maybe you'll be useful. Who knows? I'm reforming that line. Iverson will go right there. O'Neill will move in the front. The Louisiana Tigers will eventually collapse. It is inevitable. forward while the Union army crumbles my forces are decimating them Thomas is pushing forward he is outnumbered outflanked but he perseveres charge he might break and take heavy casualties but he will achieve his purpose The Union lines have crumbled. It will force the AI to redeploy its troops. Which means that, cem uh, that Cemetery Ridge is mine. And this vast mass of troops in the middle there, they're a bit of a problem, aren't they? Pettigrew, advance. All units advance. Stop. Second corpse, reinforce. All those artillery units that I have right there should be able to help them hold against candy. And they are, unless they break. They don't need to hold forever. This long enough. For me to win. I mean if he can hold for the entirety of the battle that would be so amazing. Because that would mean their line of retreat is cut off.
All right, Ramser will go right there. In the center. Oh shit! All artillery pieces. Fire on Candy. We must not let Candy succeed here. Thomas has done it. Cemetery Ridge has been taken. The Union Army crumbles. Victory is at hand. Or at least the Union Corps that are on the field here crumble. He's reforming here and here. Regrouping his troops on this side and this side. Also, he holds this particular part of the map. I want to drive him away from that, though. Probably should reinforce my flanks a bit more. Secured the ridge. Much of the Union force is collapsing. Davis will move right here. Cut them off. I will push towards the middle with Thomas. If I can carve my way through them so that they're split, that would be a huge win for me, personally. It would put them at a huge disadvantage, suffice to say. General Johnson's division has arrived. This is a good opportunity to outflank the Union right. Their right would be here, wouldn't it? Yes. A bit too late, Johnson! <laughs> A bit too fucking late. The fighting is done. We've won. No. That's four, div uh, four brigades. The Stonewall Brigade. Probably Jones. Okay. Neil Smith. Mm -hmm. The artillery battalion of Johnson's division enters the battlefield. We can deploy batteries against the Union right, sir. The Union right? What Union right? There's only candy and he's about to collapse. No need. Soon be over. Thomas, poor fucking Thomas. It's 
about to end. I'm just making a new save here. Just in case things don't go the way I want them to. There we go. Alright, he's lost 3,000 men. I've lost 2,500. Union disaster at Cemetery Hill. <laughs> That's how I would classify it as well. Launch an attack on the Union left. Briefing. That was an epic victory for our army. The Yankees have retreated to the south and they've deployed their forces on the two round top hills. We have to finish the job today and crush them. The spirit of our men is very high and General Longstreet will soon join us with two divisions of his corps. We can use these forces to reinforce our right to Peach Orchard and outflank the Federal left from the south. Then we can simultaneously attack from the west and north if needed elements of Ewell's corps are ready to come to our aid. The decision is yours, Commander. It was indeed a great day for us. Virginia and the whole South should be proud of the Army of Northern Virginia today. However, we cannot let our enthusiasm lead our planning. We have not actually faced the whole Army of the Potomac yet. Yesterday, there were only two Federal corps on the field. The latest intelligence reports that today, five corps are being deployed to the south, we can expect no less than a major counterattack. Our troops are in high spirits, but they are tired as well. First Corps will not arrive in full strength. General Pickett will need more time to bring his division. It is better to let the Federals try to counterattack. We hold good ground now, and when our army is at full strength, we'll launch our final attack. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to decide this. But for now, Costine here on Serious Gaming, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more.